This is question 12 from a series of videos looking at the Edexcel practice papers. Here we're asked to simplify fully x squared plus 3x minus 4 over 2x squared minus 5x plus 3. So in order to simplify algebraic fractions, what I need to do is I need to factorise uh, both of the expressions and then see if they have any factors, uh, factors in common, which I can then cancel. So starting by factorising the expression on top, this is a quadratic. And so to factorise this quadratic, I need to spot two numbers which will multiply to make negative 4, but will sum to make 3. Uh, and those two numbers are going to be neg uh, sorry, negative 1 and positive 4. So this expression at the top factorises to x minus 1, x plus 4. Now I need to factorise this expression on the bottom. It's a bit trickier to factorise this because it's a quadratic again, but the quadratic has got a coefficient of x squared, so a number in front of x squared, which is uh, greater than 1, so 2, 3, 4, or so on. Okay. When I have got this situation where I've got a coefficient of x squared, which is greater than 1, I have to use a slightly different method. So the first thing I'm going to do to factorise this is I'm going to label those numbers 2, minus 5 and 3 as A, B and C. And I'm going to start by working out what AC is equal to. So AC is 2 multiplied by 3 for 6 and B is just the negative 5. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to work out two numbers which multiply to make 6 but will sum to make negative 5. And what I can say is that those two numbers that multiply to make 6 but sum to make negative 5 are going to be negative 3 and negative 2. Then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this into double brackets. So I'm going to say that this is 2x minus 3, bracket 2x minus 2. But because if I was to multiply this out, I would end up getting 4x squared. I've got 2x squared here. I'm going to have to divide that by 2. Now what I look for is which of those two brackets will divide by 2. And what I can see is that this bracket here divides by 2. And so what I can say is that the factorised version of this expression will be 2x minus 3 and 2x minus 2 divided by 2, which will give me x minus 1. So I've now got 2x minus 3 and x minus 1. And all that I have to do now is spot the common factor and cancel it. So that x minus 1 on the top would divide by the x minus 1 on the bottom. They cancel each other out. So my final answer is going to be x plus 4 divided by 2x minus 3.